Hello there. This is Welsh ASMR82. Hey, how are you doing? So, we're going to have a little look at this. Stalling Kindersley wants Where on Earth Atlas. Um, it says on the bottom, The world as you've never seen it before. The cover's actually really beautiful, isn't it? This is Africa, obviously. Mauritania's over here. Algeria. At the top. Pyramids in Egypt. We've got Yemen in the um, Asian uh, continent there. Africa comes down here, Tanzania, Kenya, Ethiopia, Somalia, Eritrea, Addis Ababa is there. So let's have a look at this, shall we? I'm really, really awkward for myself. I can't turn the pages on camera because it'll bump the camera. It's quite a big book. So, um, yeah, okay, I'll cut. Find a way to make it fit. Okay, so fascinating facts. Um, largest lake, Lake Superior, United States and Canada. This is um, about North America, by the way. 83,270 square kilometers or 32,151 square miles. Um, the deepest lake is the Great Slave Lake in Canada. 614 meters or 2,000 feet deep. Most active volcano is Kilauea in Hawaii. Official languages seven Amerindian languages Creole, Danish in Greenland, Dutch, English, French, and Spanish. Fastest train to the bottom. North America's fastest train is the Asila Express in the US, which can reach speeds of up to 240 kilometers an hour or 150 miles per hour. Busiest airport, Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport. 101 million passengers per year. The world is split into 39 time zones. Most are set to all hours ahead or behind. Coordinated Universal Time, UCT. The time at the Greenwich Meridian in London, UK. Some, however, are all hours plus 30 or 45 minutes ahead or behind. Therefore, on this map, if it were 12 in London, it would be 4 p.m. in Los Angeles, 8 hours behind. Longest coastline is Canada. Actually, I think it's the longest coastline in the entire world. So, 202,000 kilometers or 125,000 miles. Waterfalls, largest by volume Niagara Falls, US Canada. Um, 2,000 meters. What's that? To do that? Cubed? No, that's, that's four. What's a three? I don't know how to say that. Of water per second, highest Olo Upena Falls, Molokai, Hawaii, US, 900 meters. Oh my god, how do you do that? Is it something like T tertiary or. Mm, how strange. I'm not a mathematician, you may have guessed. North America's extreme points. Southernmost point is Peninsula de Azuero, southeast Panama. Easternmost point, Nord Oestroningen in Greenland. Northernmost is Cap Morris, Yesup, Northern Greenland. Westernmost is Atu, Aleutian Islands, Alaska. Especially Canada is the only country not to have one. The eastern, the northern, are both of Greenland. The biggest glacier is the Bering Glacier in Alaska. Most visited cities down the bottom here. The lights on as you can see. New York, 12.27 million visitors per year. Los Angeles, 5.2. Miami, 4.5. Toronto, Canada, 4.18 million. And then Vancouver, 3.76 million. 
Ice Bridge, Lake Pont Chartrain, Causeway, Louisiana, 23 miles across or 38,000 kilometers. What? Really? Ice Bridge, Royal Gorge Bridge, Colorado, 291 meters or 955 feet. Tom's Buildings, the World Trade Center, New York, the Willis Tower, Chicago, 432 Park Avenue, New York, the Trump International Tower, New York, and the Empire State Building in New York. So Chicago's got the only one in there that's not in New York. Almost 
one and a half of South America's population lives in Brazil. So Porto Alegre is there. And this is the urban area, so it's Rio and um, Sao Paulo. Santiago in Chile. There is Montevideo of Uruguay. And across the river, literally, is um, Buenos Aires in Argentina. Los Angeles, Long Beach, Anaheim area is the most densely populated region in the United States. It's a nice box at the top of our Canada it says, despite its vast size, only the Russian Federation is larger. Almost 90% of Canada is uninhabitable. The cold temperatures in the country's frozen north are too extreme for humans to live there. Greenland. This vast island has only 13 towns with a population of more than 1,000 people. The largest is Nook, which has a population of 16,500. about the Caribbean islands. The Cayman Islands along with Anguilla, Bermuda and St. Martin. This is one of the four North American territories with an entirely urban population. Haiti. Consequence of the devastating 2010 earthquake, the number of people living in towns increased by 
percent between 2010 and 2015. Montserrat, only 9% of this volcanic island's population live in an urban environment. What? Trinidad and Tobago, fewer people live in towns here than anywhere else in North America. Shocking. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click like, drop me a little comment about any of the information you found interesting and whether you want me to use this book for another video. Subscribe to the top there. And um, I'll leave another similar video here for you that I've done in the past. Okay, I hope you're feeling really relaxed 